In this given circle L, we are given with variables that we did to solve. Those are actually X and Y. X refers to this segment from this point on the circle towards the exterior point here. And Y refers to the entire second segment from this point to this said or the same exterior point. If we can solve X, then definitely the value of it together with 6 being this is a second segment corresponds to Y and we could solve Y already. But first, we need to understand that there is one other given here or given situation or condition that M is a point of tangency. That would mean this segment from the same exterior point towards here is a tangent to circle L. And if we have tangent and second, there is a theorem that could be used to solve the unknown measurements pertaining on segments. And that is what we call as tangent second power theorem. Tangent second power theorem tells us that the product of the entire second segment together with its exterior second segment, again, the entire second segment, and the exterior second segment, in this case, is just X. So if we're going to get the product, the entire second segment is, by segment addition postulate, 6 plus X, or we can arrange it as X plus 6. To be multiplied, let me move this a little bit higher so that we can sa save some spaces here. To be multiplied with the exterior second segment, which is X, is equal to the square of the measurement of the tangent segment. In this case, it's 4, and you have here squared. This is by tangent second power theorem, which again tells us that the product of the measurements of the entire second segment and its exterior segment is equal to the square of the tangent segment drawn on the same exterior point where the um, second segment originated towards the point of tangency. So from here, we could come up with this equation. x squared plus 6x is equal to 16. Okay. And then, by transposing this to the other side, you will have x squared plus 6x minus 16 equals to 0. And then we have here a quadratic trinomial. We are going to factor this in such a way that we could get the values for x. If I'm correct, the factors for this by AC way method, you have your x and you have your x. It's negative 16 factors of it that could be added to get 6 is positive 8 and negative 2. Let us check using the FOIL method. x times x, x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. 8 times x is 8x. Then plus negative 2x. Yes, that's correct. 6x. And 8 times negative 2 is negative 16. So this is the fa these are the two factors of the given quadratic trinomial. Using zero factor property, we could equate both factors to zero to get the intended values of x. The first one is x equals to negative 8. And the second is if x minus 2 is be equated to 0, x could be equal to positive 2. Now as for this, we have two values, but since x is a measurement or a length of a segment, we will not accept negative values. So the correct answer here is just 2. This would mean the value of x here is just 2. Let us try to check and verify just by uh, using the numerical values. If we are going to multiply the entire segment, that is actually 6 and 2 plus 2 is so 8. 8 times the exterior segment, which is 2, that's 16. And then you have 4 squared, 16. That means our answer is correct. And... We can use x to solve for y, since y is the entire exterior segment, or exterior sec, uh, I mean the entire second segment. It's 6 
plus x or x plus 6 in uh, any order. It's commutative. So you will have 6, that's 6, plus 2. The value for y is 8. And by the way, before I forget, let's just simply add here units because we don't know. Or that, it's not like we don't know. There's no given unit of measurement. So you have eight units here for y, and uh, we have two units for x. These are the values of x and y in this given circle L, where we use the tangent second power theorem. 